and welcome back YouTube. Actually, on, that, on YouTube, that intro didn't sound good. I said welcome back Twitch, and then welcome back YouTube, but I started recording in between Twitch and YouTube. So on YouTube, it probably sounded bad. Well, you know, just just more reason to you know watch it watch it live. Just, uh, you know, just, just saying. <laughs> um, so we're going to the ruins of Mazolt. What, what are you looking at, guy? No, actually, I wouldn't mind a ride, but you won't take me where I want to go. Actually, would he? Hang on. No, Riften's not even. I thought maybe Riften would be closer, but no. Not even close. So this will actually be good. The Ruins of Mizolft. This is actually the first time I'm going to be going through a Dwarven Ruin. This isn't... Well, actually, this is a pretty solid Ruin, actually. I was thinking this doesn't really count, but it's pretty solid, you know? There's quite a bit here. Um, it takes a while to get through it. So that'll be good. I'm going to get some... Some, uh... Some Dwarver... I'm going to get some Dwemer Metal. I was like... I was like Going back and forth between dwar Dwarven and Dwemer. Um, anyway, some Dwarven metal. And I'm going to hang on to that for a while. Uh, well, well, I'll melt it down. But then I'm going to hang on to it for a while. In the form of bingots. And then I'm going to use those to make either bolts or arrows. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I'm a little bit torn between using a Dwarven crossbow and using the Dwarven bow. Which has the innate ability to fire 30% faster. That's part. That's actually part of the Dawnguard DLC. If you didn't know, uh, it is a, so. It is a technically it's a vanilla thing, in uh, the special edition. Um, it's a dwarven bow. It has a like it's enchanted to fire thirty percent faster, but it can't be disenchanted, and it has infinite charges. Or it's supposed it did on, it did in the regular edition. If it doesn't in this edition, I'll definitely be going for the crossbow. Um, really? Um. Yeah, basically. Uh, we'll see, like, you know, long run, I think technically the um, fire 30% faster bow is actually the best one in the game. Um, wait, no, that's not right. Hey, let's revive this goat. What, what, what is that curveball? Why does it shoot at a curve? I hate this. You want to go? Oh, wow, that's big damage. He did big damage to me. He did big damage to me. Oh jeez, he might like get a finishing move on me. I should get out of there. You gotta be careful on the higher difficulties because, yeah, okay. We just. Ooh, yeah. See, like, okay. This is not okay. I can't believe I'm gonna get taken down by a saber cat. Jeez, alright. I wasted a ton of potions right there. But anyway, like I was saying, you gotta be careful on the higher difficulties. Because even on Adept, which is what I normally play on when I just play the game, you know, at my own pace, whatever. Um, you could still be regularly one hit, unless you're, you know, intentionally doing some sort of powerful build. Because, you know, like, they'll just happen to get that finishing move and the game will be like, oh, you're dead. I'm not actually 100% sure if a finishing move has to actually be a killing blow regardless. I don't think it is. I'm like 90% sure you can get a killing or you can get a finishing move even if the actual blow wouldn't have killed. Like I think if, you know, I think if the uh hit would leave them like, let's say they've got, like, 20% health left, and you hit them, and you would do, like, 18% damage. I think sometimes the game will just, like, round up and say, oh, you killed it with a finishing move. I'm not 100% sure of that. But I think that's how it works. Um, so sometimes, even if you technically wouldn't die, the game will just give the finishing move to the enemy anyway. But I'm not a hundred. Like, don't quote me on that. I'm not a hundred percent sure. That's just what it feels like, most of the time. You gotta make sure to hit this thing over to the side, because this is this is where the loot is. 
I mean, not really, but this is where the loot is. Give me that, give me that. Uh, decorative strut. Yeah, that one works. Um, healing, empty. What is a con- oh, convector. I was gonna say, what the hell is a converter? Does it convert? Yeah, so there's actually, um, when you come in, there's actually an expert lock on that door, but if you come over to the side, there's an apprentice lock, and then another apprentice lock, and then you can just skip that expert lock, or you can do it for the XP. You know, you can still do it from the inside, but you can skip an expert lock for two apprentice locks. Which is pretty useful. And then actually in here there's more metal. Give me the solid metal. Solid metal's actually not that worth it, but I take it as long as I have the carry capacity. And then grab this shard of Ethereum, that'll start that quest. Small Dwemer plate. Dwemer scrap metal. Surprisingly, Dwemer scrap metal cannot be turned into Dwemer ingots, which is dumb. But, well. Actually, I don't even, I don't even want to bother with that. Oh, and I forgot these. I have a little Stendar, I don't care. Take that. Is that the only? Yeah, those, okay. I wasn't sure if I missed any other containers. Ooh, ooh, there's a bent, yeah, the bent one is pretty good. I think the bent metal, oh no, the large plate metal, I think is the most efficient in terms of, like, weight to ingot ratio. And then, um, solid dormer metal is actually the worst, I think. Because I think, uh, solid dormer metal is, like, five weight to one ingot. And then, I think, I want to say the large plate metal is, like... Um, hmm. I want to say it's like two weight to three ingots, maybe? I don't know. Um, it might be like a one-to-one -one at least. I can't drop that. Okay. How much carry weight do I have? Um, yeah, I'm sitting at 219. That is a lot. Hmm. I'd have to drop a lot of stuff. Okay. What am I carrying that's weighing me down the most? Definitely not keys. Potions are, you know, that's like a 20 pounds right there, probably. I do have, no. Oh, I do have this Elven Light Armor. That's only four. The pickaxe. Oh, yeah, this thing is 23 pounds. I wonder if I can disenchant that. Mm. No, actually, I don't think I can. But let me go to the White Run and sell some stuff anyway. And I'll drop off my, um, ingots here, too. And I'll, con you know, I'll convert the uh, solid metal and stuff. This is, this. I mean, this is a big reason I want a companion. I don't claim to take a look. So take that. I'm going to keep my... Uh, I'm going to hang on to this piece. Or no, yeah, no. I'm going to disenchant this. And I'm going to wear this because it's just not worth it. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Yeah, the small Dwemer plate gives three ingots. And then the solid metal weighs 25 pounds and only gives five ingots, which is a five to one, you know, five to one ratio, which is awful. And I'll just leave those there. They shouldn't despawn by the time I get back. And then turning those into leather strips is actually net gain. Uh, is that all? I mean, I've got like this couple of, like pieces of junk here. I'll equip that. Maybe I should go disenchant. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Let's do it. And I think I'm gonna. I don't think it's really worth switching over to the mage stone. Maybe if I'm gonna do like a big batch of enchanting, like if I get to that point. I'll switch over to the mage stone, but for now, it's just, eh, I'd rather not. Alright, disenchant that. Disenchant that. Okay. I am Hmm. I had you figured for me. And then you can take Mage's Circlet. This. You can take that. I wonder if I should get rid of the Sarthal Amulet.
Why don't you take? I don't even care. Why don't you take the mid and incident yeah. report? You're mine. I don't care enough about it. This is exactly why I want Lydia because she's got carry weight too. I wonder how, what level was uh, under the heavy armor tree. Um, level seventy for weighs nothing. So that's yeah, that's that is quite far off. Hmm. Yeah, I would I would like to use that. I would like to switch over to heavy armor, but like it's gonna be so long before I can actually like carry anything. <laughs> crystal gone. Oh, the crystal's gone. I'm not good. Find Baratus in Oculori. Oh. He's wearing college boots. The. Hmm. I'm trying to remember if the large Dwemer strut. Wait, hang on. Did I use the decorative strut? I did. Hmm. I'm trying to remember what... Well, I'm trying to remember what can be converted into ingots and what can't. And I want to say it's something stupid, like decorative struts can be and regular struts can't be. Ooh, this might be rough. Oof. Like, you do get to keep all your arrows fighting these guys, but it's a huge pain in the ass to pick them up. Uh, bent metal. Yeah, it's so dumb. Like, regular scrap metal can't be turned into ingots, but bent scrap metal can be. Moonstone ore. I, I don't know what a convector is. Like, is it like is it just another word for container? Like, I've always wondered if those actually do anything. Yeah! This is another reason I want to pick up a companion just for dealing with these little things. Bent metal. Tried to get me. Too bad. I am good at the game. Man, you know what I used to do to train armor? You know, like light armor, heavy armor, whatever. In uh, Oblivion. Because I'd go to the Alien Ruin. Man, throw back to Alien Ruins. That's right outside the Imperial City. Um, it's like right by the sewer when you exit the sewers in the beginning of the game. That one right there. I'd go in there, drop the difficulty as low as it could go, and then just, like, you know, aggro the, like, five enemies that are right there, and then just sit in a corner. <laughs> and let them all just beat on me. Cat, You know, I'd cast restoration spells. But, like, it was the lowest difficulty possible, so they couldn't do damage. It was great. Then my armor would break. And I'd have to kill them all to use my repair hand. Throwback to those days. Man, repair hammers were the worst in Oblivion because they went under the same. They were under the same tab as you know all your keys and like all those random items that you never use. So like, it was so hard to find them every time you needed to use one. You'd have to scroll through 6,000 keys to find it. Oof. Yeah, that is not 
I'm not happy with that level of damage. That's why I saved. Fudged. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What, are you, what the fuck are you doing? Get away from me. Jeez, I thought that was the Atronach next to me. What are you doing? Get away from me. Burn. Please die. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. <laughs> That's exactly why I saved coming into this, because I knew that would happen. There's a full-fledged Charis thing. Oh, why is he taking damage? Oh, he's like moving through the rocks and I think the physics are taking him out. Alright, this guy's actually weaker than the fledgling. Nice. I think that the eggs are actually useful. You make some useful potion out of them. Ooh, there's another one. Oh, here's an idea. What if I do this? Uh, uh, uh. Where is it? Anime corpse. Yeet. An epic battle. Oh god, this is gross. Man, they do so much damage to each other, that is weird. Now here's an idea. Is my reanimate corpse powerful enough to revive the fledgling? Wow. Oh, because it's a hunter fledgling, I guess? So like, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Let me bring this guy back up with a new timer. I don't know how the wizards are supposed to have gotten through here. Without, you know, like, you know, without killing all these enemies. It's like, no wonder so many died. It's because, like, every time an enemy pops up, you guys just run away and leave the one to die. Get him, Charis thing. Charis. No, there was Charis. Why wouldn't it attack him? Oof. Yeah, and this guy does so much damage, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I revived one of the mages. Yeet. I missed. Yeet. Oh, he lost aggro. Ooh, there's another one. Alright, we need to get back in there. Let's go. Where is he at? Ran away. Where is he? Got that sneak. <laughs> Where are you, Synod researcher? Yeah, that's right. Let's just lure him all the way here. Ooh, did he? Ah, he got physics to death. Ooh, bolts. A greater gem. Nice. Calculated. Okay, so new meta. Um, I'm just gonna drag every single enemy in the dungeon back to that little cave, and they're all just gonna die. <laughs> and I 
death clock. Is there anything in there? I see one ingot, and there's those two chests. Let's, I'll give it a try. Oof, 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 ah. Oh, nice. Ooh. Ooh. Take the common gem, why not? Once I get to the, uh, what's it called? If I can ever, like, get to the bound bow, I think you can make it so bound weapons just automatically do soul traps. So if I kill some, like, eventually that'll be pretty easy to just, like, fill every single gem no matter what. Oh, did I just get back-to-back -back sneak attacks? Oh, no, it was, a, it was a sneak and then a random crit. Alright, so I'm gonna save my level here. I might seriously need it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. No, what? Run! I don't know if that thing can actually damage it. Oh, he just... The th okay. The sphere just two hit that. Oof. Back to the rocks, boys. Ooh, that's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do either. Come into my physics trap. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Why do they take so much damage? That is so weird. Like when I walk into these, it didn't do sh it didn't do anything. There's nothing to me. But they walk, man. That it it must be like their 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 ball feet that they have. The way they just roll around. No, because it happened to the Charis, too. That is so weird. No, oh, man. I, I saw the tip of my bow. It looked like something was coming around the corner. You know when you spook yourself? Sorry, life is just rough for, like, level 11. I am kind of burning through the arrows here, but I, like, when I went and bought the ingots, she had, like, 20-something, and I only bought, like, 5, plus the, like, 4 that I had left over, and I made 200, so. If I, you know what I mean, if I just go to her with any amount of money, I'll just, I'll be good. Plus, once I get to the, uh, the level that I can make the dwarven stuff, I mean, that's infinite dwarven arrows already. And, you know, Dwarven Arrows aren't, like, the highest tier weapon. They're, you know, they're obviously not, like, the highest tier damage I'm going to be able to get. But they're pretty solid. You know, especially for stuff that I can use infinitely, you know? And I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to leave most of the solid metal. Let's see, what are you? Large decorative strut. Yeah, see, oh, actually, they weigh 15. I was going to say they, they don't weigh much, but they weigh 15. Now I can walk straight through these. What's going on? Ooh, there she is. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Patrolling. Ooh. 
me rip a quick save here. Actually, I wonder if I can take the next... Oh, I forgot I had a level. Rip. There goes that full heal. Where's Sneak? Man, it's only 33. And I need 40 to get the next thing. Uh, noise from armor reduced 50%. Let me get... Let me just take that. I don't know if it'll be a huge benefit, but I need to go up that tree anyway. Yeah, you better look away. Oh, you know what? I can actually use Muffle right now, can I? Yeah, 124. I think I have enough Magicka for that. Barely. Oh, it didn't work. No. Yes. Run. Loot. Run. Loot. Ooh. Run. <laughs> All right, that was intense. Man, I don't know if reanimate corpse is even worth trying to use down here. Man, he better not like pop out behind me. Okay, hidden. Ruby, solid metal. I don't care. Oh, bent metal, nice. Bent bent scrap metal is another good one. I think it's I think it's maybe one ingot to two weight. It might even be two to one. Large decorative strut. I hope those are the good ones. I can't remember exactly. I think I might still have Muffle active, but I'll cast it again here. Gold. I wonder if I can go to um, what's his face, the Elder Scroll guy. It tells you to like get blood from all the elves. I wonder if I could go do that right now. Like if I could just go straight to him. I've never tried, but it would be useful because like he's you know his quest is kind of a pain if you don't want to go into a city and just kill somebody. Falmer bow. Oh, that is better than mine. I'll take it then. Falmer arrows, they're worse, I guess. No, are they? Hang on, what, what was the damage on them? Mine's only 10, right? Oh yeah, they are definitely worse. But this bow... That's a, that's higher base. Weighs, weighs significantly more, but I'll take 7 weight for a big increase in damage. So that's, yeah, that's 5 more damage. Plus, mine has been improved, and it's still, you know what I mean? And it's still five more damage, so that's actually pretty solid. So if I improve this bow, I wonder what kind of uh, metal it is. Like, I wonder what perk it's affected by. Hopefully steel, but I doubt it. I think it'll be, because um, he had orcish arrows, so it might be like orcish armor. It's weird how their bows are good, but their arrows suck. Oh, that's right. Falmer are blind, so yeah. So, I like it. that's never a factor in the re like the regular game, really. But I think it actually does play a role when you're trying to sneak. Damn, they like rounded up all the, all these guys and just like locked them in there. 
expert. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Bent metal, nice. I'm pretty sure the regular struts don't do anything. It's kind of dumb that... Like, I mean, first of all, every piece of Dwemer metal should turn into ingots. Like, period. Like, it, you know, it just doesn't make sense that some don't. But then it's, like, it's so weird, too. Like, bent scrap metal works, but regular scrap metal doesn't. It's like, what? You know, you know, decorative struts work, but regular struts don't? Like, if anything... Like, if you know, maybe, maybe they're pulling some, like, oh, you know... Lower wise, you wouldn't want to break down some precious artifact, and that's why bowls don't work. For example, you know, like that's the only that's the only thing I can think of. But like, if you want to go down that road, oh, I need to favorite that bow. If you want to go down that road, like technically, you shouldn't. You should break down the regular struts, not the decorative struts, because like, you know what I mean? Those are decorative. You know, they were. Like, the regular struts were just part of their construction, you know? But the decorative struts is, like, part of their art, or whatever. <laughs> oh god, that is gross! Why does it sound so gross? Ah! Ooh, that other one just walked into a trap. Nice. Ooh, and it died. Wow. Alright, let's refresh. Refresh the summon. I think that was a tri yeah, that was a tripwire. Did it activate it under pressure plate, so I'm good. I'm good. God, why do they sound so gross when they're walking? Makes me not want to, like, raise them. <laughs> it really does sound disgusting. Looking at the volume levels, you might be able to hear it too, actually. Oh, poison. Ooh. Nice. Gold, steel arrows, okay. Shouldn't that fish be food, not an ingredient? Ooh, give me that staff. 500 gold? Yeah, so, t like, I don't really know 100% how the Falmer being blind affects their AI. I assume they can only, like, they can't see you, they can, like, hear you or whatever. So I guess that's why maybe Muffle is helping me so much. Because, like, they obviously can't see me, and if I'm Muffled, they can't hear me. So they just, like, don't know yeah. where I am. chest. Dwarven arrows. Yeah, 14 damage. Like, that's a good chunk of damage more than my steel. Oh, come on. How is that not a sneak attack? Yeah, the sneak attacks for the Felm are a little bit weird, because it's like, they clearly have no idea where you are, but... I guess, like, because they're aware that you exist, you can't get the sneak attack? I don't know. Ooh, Master Lock, screw that. <laughs> 
23 illusion. It's ticking up. You're a regular foam, you're not even like a skulker or anything. Oof. Got the moving shot. Too good. Uh, look at that sidestep! A crit and a sneak attack? Come on. Like, when you know, when you crit on a sneak attack, the crit should just be carried over to the next attack. Or at the very least, let the damage stack a little bit. You know, maybe not full-on quad damage, but, like, a little, you know? 20% more than your regular sneak attack or something. Oh, that's just a charge or something up there. I'll leave it. I don't know if they're supposed to be pronounced Charis, or Karis, or Kachar, or Kaharis, or, you know, whatever. I'm sure somebody's gonna be freaking out about it. But you know, contact Todd Howard, tell him to like make an NPC say it in game like right off the bat, so that I know how to pronounce it from the beginning. <laughs> tell him tell him that's what you want in Elder Scrolls 6. Like all the stuff that's maybe a little bit difficult to pronounce, just like have an NPC say all of it within the first ten minutes so there's no confusion. Excited for Elder Scrolls 6. <laughs> Man, just think, like, you know, since this is going on YouTube, you might w be watching, and Elder Scrolls 6 will already be out. Like, what's it like to live in that world? Sounds pretty good. <laughs> Falmer was at like one health that whole time and I was like, oh, the thing will be able to finish it off, no problem. Nope. Oh, I've got a uh, level. That's good. Ooh, Gloom Lurker. I mean, you know what one of the biggest ripoffs in this game is? A lesser ward can cancel out a tier 3 show. Get out of the way! Alright, let's just level up. Whatever. Uh, magicka... I want to go to 150 magic, so... I'm only at 160 now with a buff, so... Won't trigger pressure plates. That'd be nice. Let's see, what about archery? How am I doing here? Next one's not until 60. I could take this one, the zoom, but then I, like, arrow stagger all but the largest. This will be a useful perk. So, like, I don't know about the zoom. Like, the zoom's kind of whatever. I could take it or leave it. It'd be useful with the slow time ability, but by itself, it's kind of whatever. Give me this. Um, bound weapons do more, dual casting. Summon twice as far away, I don't really care about that. What about illusion? Dual casting. We're gonna hire level animals. Apprentice for half. Apprentice for half will be good. Um Yeah. And what's this one? With yeah, one hand to do six times, That's whatever.
Which one is- okay, you're not him, but I'll take your stuff. He started using my steel arrows that I shot him with before he died. Now, I know I'm supposed to go that way, but I'm actually going to come this way, because I want to say there's something over here. Ooh, what's this? What is this ash pile? Did one of them wander down here? Weird. Yeah, I want to say there's some loot down here. Ooh, bent metal. Give me that. Yeah, like one... Um, Ruin, if you want to use Dwemer or Dwarven Arrows or Bolts, one Ruin will usually get you enough metal to use it infinitely. Hmm. But then you can also just do it for XP. He doesn't do much Take that. Bent metal. Bent metal. How much carry weight do I have? Yeah, I could I could take a couple um solid metal. Small Dwemer Plate, I'm pretty sure that works. Two-handed do more damage, I'll take that. At least a cell, if not disenchant. Give me that. Give me a couple solid metal, why not? I got the, you know, and see, like, look, in this room, like, I've already picked up enough solid metal to encumber myself, so. Like, it's not really, you like, when you get to the end of a dungeon and you've got some carry weight left over, then maybe start picking up a couple heavy, or solid metal, but... Wait, you know, like, wait until that point before you start grabbing it. And even then, like, right here, a couple plate metals. Ooh, give me that flawless garnet. Oh, it's kind of funny that, you know, actually, now that I think about it, that Falmer will, like, leave the, you know, the garnets and stuff on dead bodies. I wonder if that's supposed to be, like, an actual thing. I thought I had the key for that. I, you know, I wonder if that's, like, actually supposed to be a thing, because they're blind. They're not going to be attracted to shiny things. I wonder if that's an actual thing, or just, like, you know, just... Something they did, like, oh, these enemies drop garnets, and, like, we just didn't give it to the Falmer when they're nearby, because that'd be too much work. That would actually be a nice, that'd actually be a cool little minor detail. Is that you? I'd almost given up hope. Let me get the door. What the? What are you doing here? What have you done with Gavros? And just why would you be doing that? Oh, it doesn't matter now. Gavros is never coming back. And he was supposed to have the crystal. Without that, we're lost. It's all been for nothing. So congratulations, whoever you are. You found the Synod. Just me, alone. Surrounded by angry machines and angrier Falmer. It didn't work the first time. I tried to tell Gavros, but he wouldn't listen. No, it won't be too cold, he said. Well, I was right, wasn't I? Focus completely wrong by the time we got here. The cold had warped it. Gavros had to cart it all the way back to Cyrodiil. Left the rest of us here to fend off the damnable Falmer. You found... How in the world? That's it? That's it! I don't know who you are, but you may have just saved this little project. In fact, who are you anyway? You are, are you? Savos wouldn't even grant us an audience when we came to you. But now you come here expecting something from me? I don't want anything I don't from you. Like this, come on, I'll explain on the way. No matter what Gavro said, this was my idea first. Whatever. I have to follow him? 
I was the one who thought of using this... this oculory. I don't know what the dwarves called it. Something unpronounceable, I'm sure. From all our research, it seems they were intent on discerning the nature of the divine. This machinery, all of it, was designed to collect starlight, and then, I'm not sure, split it somehow? It was my idea to replace one of the key elements with our focusing crystal. Months of enchantments went into it. Let's just hope they got it right this time. Why don't you just like enchant it to not be affected by the cold? Checkmate. Synod more like dumb it. Owned. So I guess he's coming. Maybe not. Oh yeah, he is. Do I jam the crystal in up here? I don't know. What are you doing over there, guy? Yes? Are you? Well, I'm afraid I can't help you with that. I need the crystal to do anything useful, and I don't have it. I already told you we have it. Alright then. Do I have to go through that whole dialogue again? Because he's dumb. I'll take Frostbite. Because I need to learn it, I think. No, it's under books, of course. <laughs> I do have to go through this whole dialogue. Yeah. I'm looking for the staff. Well, I'm afraid I found the crystal. Found... That's it. In fact, who... I'm with the college. You... Sabo, I don't much. Come on. Here it is. Magnificent, isn't it? it? Took an incredible amount of work to get it running again. Now I'm hoping it'll all be worth it. Oh, it was like, oh, it took an incredible amount of work to get it running again, and every other one you go to is already running. Alright, let's throw on flames, and let's put frostbite on the left. definitely there. That one's definitely there. That one's de okay. That's definitely lined up. That's what I would want to do. Oh, did I get the top one already? Oh, yeah, I did. Are we getting there? There's that one, and there's that one. Boom. Finally going to pay off. Ooh, there it is. These results, they're not at all what they should be. I don't know what he expects here. Projection should be lit up like the night sky. It kind of is. Something is creating an incredible amount of interference. Something in Winterhold, it looks like. What are you playing at? Is this some attempt? You need some. What do you? Where do you get the idea that it's in Winterhold? What is, what is this over here? Like, I'm trying to figure out this map. Because, like, what is this entirely disconnected piece? Is that Windhelm? Take a peek. No. Map. Yeah, like, is, it, is that supposed to be this whole section right here? Or what? Like, wh what is... Like, this map doesn't really make sense. And then what is this thing in the middle? Or, wait, hang on, is this supposed to be a map of the, like, the whole of Tamriel, and not just Skyrim? Oh yeah, 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 it is, okay. Okay, I see what's happening. I understand every single thing ever now. That is Winterhold right there, I guess. That's, um, Poop City. The, like, place I need to go. Hang on, 
does that mean? Is this Cyrodiil right here? I think I don't, know, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, figured out the map. What's going on, guys? So what is it? You what better calm you down. College have ruined years of my work. I've lost colleagues and friends to the bomber, and you want me to calm down? How did you do it? I mean, how to do it? I turned the lever. But it must be something you're doing. You have something at your college, don't you? Something immensely powerful, beyond anything I've anticipated. What is it? We might. Well, now, this I hadn't considered. If that's taken into account, these results make more sense. Okay. What are you talking about? You're looking for something, yes? Yeah, I told you. The told you look at the Staff of Magnus. Magnus. Well, even if you are trying to ruin my work, there's still something to be learned here. Okay. I can't explain the details. That would be giving away many secrets the Synod have learned over the years. Also, I doubt you'd be able to comprehend the details. Have you seen the orrery in the Imperial City? It was the inspiration for this idea. You sure? I feel like this might have been the inspiration for the orrery. all of Tamriel, and then harness the late energies to overlay the positions of... What's important is that all of this work was designed... Oh yeah, so he just said all of Tamriel, yeah. great magical power. Purely to help safeguard the Empire, of course. And yet, in the end, only two locations have been revealed to us. One is your college. The other, well, that can only be labyrinthian. What do you mean it can only be labyrinthian? So, mage from winter home. This isn't exactly like a, a super accurate, I detailed map. Game, even if all you've said here is lies, I know you have something in Winterhold the Synod Council will be very interested in. So fine, trudge off to labyrinthian in search of your staff. I shall return to Cyrodiil. And deliver my full report to the council. This is not over, I assure you. Well, I mean, yes, certainly it is. The council will be informed of this. They will find out what. You're crazy. Am I? Am I? I think I've discovered more here. Your trickery won't confuse me. So, is this supposed to be the Imperial City right there in the middle? I guess. Huh. I don't know. I don't. I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of the Oblivion map. I guess this does kind of. Yeah. I guess. I mean, it, it is kind of right. It's definitely not like to any sort of scale. That's for sure. But I don't. I don't remember the Imperial City being like this. Like, I don't know. Because I remember this. Oh, like this lake down here, but it, didn't, it wasn't this big, I don't think. And then, like, the, um, what was it called? The DLC was, like, right here in the middle of the lake. But I don't remember the Imperial City being, like, that surrounded by water. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Let me actually try something here. Just rip a quick save. You got what you Stand behind him. You. No? Go then. Back to your college. Oh, he's lost me. Yeet. I think we're done. Death is highly overrated. Ooh, can he not die? He can. Okay. See what he drops. If he doesn't drop anything, I'm gonna load that save. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't do anything. That was dumb. Came for, didn't you? Go then, back to your college. I think we're done here. I'm trying to think if like him going back to the council has any effect on the game. I don't think it does. Ooh. You have done well thus far, but trying times are ahead. It is imperative that you return to your college at once. You will be called on to take swift action. Rise to the challenge and discover what you are capable of. You are on the right path, and you will prevail. Ah. Ooh. Open door. Open Skyrim. I 
Is there anything up here that we want to grab? Doesn't look like it. I love how it's, like a lot of these ruins will just like spawn you like at the shortcut, like just like at the top of a cliff or something. And it's like, there's only two ways to get out of here: either abuse physics down the mountain, or fast travel. It's it's just kind of weird that like how much of the game is designed around like, like actually natively designed around abusing physics, or um fast travel, you know? Anyway, that's going to be the end of the episode for uh, YouTube. So, see you next time.